Hey YouTube, this is David Staples, and today I'm coming to talk to you about what could a CompTIA Security Plus certification do for your career. And that's coming up right now. So today we're going to answer the question, what can a CompTIA Security Plus certification do for your career? Yeah, you know, this is a question I get a lot from various students that are in some of my classes. And yeah, you know, I teach all over the place, whether it's private sector, public sector, military. There's a lot of different types of students in my classes. So what can this do for your career? Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer before I get too far into this video. This video is being sponsored by CompTIA. However, all the opinions are solely mine. They haven't given me a script of things that I have to say or uh, any sort of view that I have to espouse. So uh, this is totally my opinion here. Now. Some of the things that I usually tell students is that you know, the Security Plus is a really good certification to get your foot in the door. Now, does this mean that every employer is going to require that you have a Security Plus? No, absolutely not. But there are plenty of them out there that do. Whether you're talking about a government position or if you're in the military, especially if you're in the military, there's a DOD requirement that states that if you work in certain fields of technology, you have to have a Security Plus. There is no if, and, or but about it. So this can certainly help you move up into your career, whether you're in the military or whether you work within the government or if you even work in the private sector. Having a Security Plus certification will do nothing but help your career. So why the Security Plus? Well, you can always start off with the A Plus and the Network Plus certification. If you happen to be working in a help desk type position, uh, some of those may come in handy. But as you want to kind of further your career and maybe move into a network administrator position or into a system administrator position, uh, even from a help desk perspective, really a Security Plus is still a very good idea to have. Uh, because in the Security Plus certification, we do talk about things like social engineering. We talk about physical security. We talk about wireless security. We talk about how encryption works with some of our web-based transactions. You know, all these things that you know, everyday users use, we talk about in the Security Plus classes. So the Security Plus exam helps to actually validate some of these skills that you may already be using. Or one of the classes, such as the ones that I teach, may help you learn different things that will help you in that new career. So one of the nice things about the Security Plus certification is that it's not just a multiple choice exam. It does have some performance-based questions on there to help show that you can actually do the job. Whether it's looking at some log output or looking at some firewall rules or whatever the case may be, it's helpful to actually show that you can really do the job. You know, it's great to actually get your foot in the door, but employers want to see that once you get your foot in the door that you can actually keep it in the door and that you can actually do the job that you've applied for and the job that they've hired you for. So the CompTIA Security Plus exam is definitely a very good exam to kind of show those skills and be able to, to exhibit that you do have that knowledge to perform whatever job it is that they're hiring you for. Now, of course, CompTIA doesn't just stop at the A+, Network+, and Security+. They do have certifications beyond that as well. So if you want to continue your cybersecurity career even further, of course, there's certifications such as the Cybersecurity Analyst. We've also got the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, which is their kind of mastery level uh, certification. And I also teach both of those classes as well. Uh, they also have the new pen tester exam, which is coming out, I believe, end of this month, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one here in the very near future as well. But, you know, there's a lot of different certification bodies out there. You know, so why choose CompTIA? Well, you know, CompTIA is a very good one to start with. You know, a lot of the other certifications are definitely kind of more mid-level, maybe even higher level exams. And just like you wouldn't start with CompTIA's CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, you know, the mastery level exam, you probably don't also want to start with any of those either. Starting off with a Security Plus for a cybersecurity type career is definitely a very good first step. As well, you know, CompTIA has been around for quite a while. Some of the numbers that I've found show that they've issued over 2 million certifications. That's not a tiny little number. They've also been around for over 20 years. So it's not like these guys are a, a newcomer to the IT world either. CompTIA is definitely a very well-known name and has established itself as a market leader within the marketplace. So most people in IT know the name CompTIA. Now, of course, one of the issues that you do see with some of the different exams that are out there is that once they create an exam, it doesn't really change over time. A CompTIA, of course, does continue to update their exams. So if you think you're going to go find some of the questions out there from the actual exam and then just go take it, well, you know, keep in mind that CompTIA does regularly review and update these exams as well. So uh, if you don't actually have the knowledge, you may actually want to consider taking a class such as some of the ones that I teach and make sure that you really know as much about cybersecurity as you possibly can before you go into this exam. 
So we said that we were going to talk about what can it do for your career here, right? So let's say that you go apply for a new job or you're looking for a promotion within your company. Well, when you have two candidates and one of them has a certification, one of them does not, everything else being equal, who do you think is going to get the job? You know, this can certainly be a tiebreaker between you and someone else. So having a certification certainly will do nothing to hurt you, but it could certainly help advance your career to whatever level you want to go to. So we said that this could be a tiebreaker between you and someone else as well, right? So what happens during that hiring process? Well, typically the hiring manager sends a list of requirements to someone in HR. Someone in HR puts out the job posting, and then of course they get all these resumes in. So how do they decide who they're going to send to that hiring manager for those interviews? Well, of course, they're basically going to filter down through there, and they're typically not someone that knows cybersecurity, right? So the more certifications that they see, the better your chances may be of actually landing that interview. And then, of course, you need to go in and impress that hiring manager with your knowledge and be able to show that you can actually do that job. And while the Security Plus exam is the lowest level on the rung of security certifications from CompTIA, it's certainly nothing to laugh at either. It does actually require a bit of knowledge going into it. So even if you've been working in IT for 5 or 10 or 15 years or so, some of the topics on there may not necessarily be familiar topics to you. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you kind of dive down into some of these objectives. The objectives are available on CompTIA's website. Uh, if you're looking for more information about the exam, I do have a video on my channel here about it. Or you can go directly to certification.comptia.org. You can download the objectives for yourself. And be sure to check out the links in the description below as well. Kind of flip through there, you'll see the different encryption algorithms, you'll see the different uh, types of security that they want you to be familiar with, uh, the different types of wireless networking and Ethernet networking that they want you to be familiar with. So it's definitely not a bad idea to take a look at the objectives list before you go try and take the exam. So if you've got any questions about the CompTIA Security Plus exam uh, or any questions about how it might be able to help you further your career, I'm happy to answer any questions that you've got. Feel free to leave those down in the comments below. If you like this video, click on that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to join all those others by clicking that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for the next video. But in the meantime, you guys take care and we will see you soon.